Hello beautiful people and welcome. Happy New Year. Welcome to your weekly guidance with me Julie Paul. This is for the week of the 11th of January 2021. I love saying 2021 don't you? All right my darlings let's see what we have got for this week. This is good for all signs. This is general readings. We're looking at the general energy for the week okay. So please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. So what's going on with this week? Okay so the first thing is we've got quite an important new moon on the 13th of January all right all to do with conjunctions and all sorts of specialness go and watch one of the astrologers I am not an astrologer um, but this is very strong energy about new it's linking in with Pluto which is really good stuff so we're looking at new 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 what new do you want this is bigger and more important than your average bog standard new year's resolutions what new is going on there's a lot of new power coming in this week all right they want to stay with the word power they're showing me a wand all right literally like a magician's wand not like a, uh, the ones in the tarot cards they're showing me a wand a magic wand what magic do you want to create they are showing me and this wand is is black and it's got a um uh, a load of light coming out of the end and it's it's kind of like your fairy godmother waving the wand saying you know ta-da what do you want to create so you are in that creative mode let's have a look at the cards as i right bottom of the deck two of swords i'm going to stay with that for a moment you don't know the universe doesn't know either of you don't know my darlings so i want you to get clear this week get clear what do i want what do i want to create what's important to me all right we're on a different timeline we have shifted timelines it's really important you understand that because things that you wanted even six weeks ago are not necessarily right for you now things have shifted significantly since the 21st of december so what is it you want? What is it that you want to achieve? Let's get clear. Once you're clear, you then tell the universe, waving that magic wand around and saying, right, bring it to me. OK, let's bring the camera down so you can see these cards coming out. So tell me more, please, about this energy for this week. OK, it wants to take off the eight of wands. It wants to go far. It wants to travel. It wants to be long term. This is communication. Um, but this is basically creating eights are about uh, infinity cr and, and the right. Sorry, I've got a lot of chatter going on in my head. Let me just quiet it down for a moment. Right. Once you figured out what you want, you want to say to yourself, this is a card of long term. What do I want for myself long term? Right. Well, I might want something now, but I don't necessarily want it forever. So um for example, I might want to go to that job, but I don't want to stay there for 10 years, but I'd be happy to do it for six months. Be really clear about what you want long term. Are you building, creating, manifesting what you want on a long term basis? Because whatever you set in place this year is going to be there very likely for the next 12, 15 and for some of you, 16 years. So I want you to be clear. Five of Wands. Five of Wands is competition, conflict, arguments, difficulties, all right? Lack energy. What about them? What about me? Um, sense of, okay, what's coming through here as well for this card is a sense of worth. Am I worthy? Am I deserving? Is it possible? Am I being unrealistic? Am I just being silly? Other people need it more than me or deserve it more than me. This is about self-worth and we want that to be shifting. All right. Tell me about this king of coins, please. We want to move into an area of stability, security, financial abundance, empowerment, knowing what you want and where you go. He knows what he wants. He's not in this energy of the two of swords. He's not like, well, I don't quite know I'll have to have a little think about it he is very clear tell me some more please I want one more here okay eight coins he is working on his wealth he is working on his abundance he's working on where he's going long term this is a week of creating and manifesting all right creating and manifesting not just for this week guys but for the long term future we've got another five here with I want to take that ten of pentacles the five of swords is fives are about change 
and the five of swords is conflict and again more in the competition battle energy I've got to fight for this and it's saying no I don't need to fight for it I need to work at it but not fight for it I don't want to be in an energy of battle all right an energy of battle is just going to bring more things for me that I'm going to have to battle I don't want that I want to align with ease I want to align with joy and prosperity and independence and power look at this guys we've got the nine and the ten of pentacles right i'm going to stop them i'm not going to stop there we have got the ace of cups underneath as well all right so in terms of figuring out what you want the two of swords i don't know i can't see clearly i'm confused i want you to ask yourself what is going to make me happy wherein lays my happiness and in that happiness what is long term and what is short term why do I feel that perhaps I'm not deserving or not worth it or I'm being silly I'm being unrealistic because I need to use those swords to cut through that because that's all BS sorry it just is you are deserving you are the king you are the magician they're showing me the wand again please use your magic Use your magic to create eight, nine, ten of pentacles, okay? You've got to run here. When we have a run like that in the same suit, that's what you're creating. You are moving towards creating your financial security, your abundance. Not because you are materialistic or greedy, but because you want to... Um, and you deserve to have that abundance and that opulence and that security. You're working on your wealth and security and what you are manifesting with that wand. All right. And you're going to go from the eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to end up at the king, the top of the financial tree. We are safe and secure. I'm going to finish off with some angel cards let me see who is coming through from the angelic realms please for my beautiful people for this week i want those three do i okay we've got <laughs> metatron with miracles we've got joffael with meditation and we've got michael with patience all right so let's look at this i keep showing you that wand right what miracles can you or magic, if you want to, miracles and magic, same thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, what miracle, what magic do you want to create? Do you want to manifest because you are growing something new for yourself for this year? And it's lasting and it's beautiful. Be very, very clear with this Jophiel card and the meditation. You want to be meditating on it. Be very, very clear. Coming from a place of power. This is the solar plexus here. Your center of power and trust and self-esteem and self-worth. And I deserve it. And I'm amazing. And I'm a child of the universe. And the universe wants me to be abundant and secure and happy. And I am. And yes, those things can happen overnight. But sometimes it's about putting the work in here and it takes a little bit of time for that work to then pay off sometimes you get an overnight success and that's lovely that's a blessing but other times we have to work at it and be prepared to be patient that things take time to come together yeah, like buying a house. You buy a house one day, you don't move in the next day. It takes time, but it's worth it. Be patient and allow what you're working on to come to fruition into that abundance because it absolutely will. All right, my darling. So that is what I have for you for this week of the 11th. Powerful, powerful week. Enjoy the power. Enjoy you. Enjoy life. And I will see you next time. Thank you for being here. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.